from anywhere that we can see that is metallic, we will give it a going over with this colour. Not that many areas. So I think that will be it. Next, back to the um, cloth. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit more of the uh, administratum grey out. But I'm going to put that into the pallid witch flesh to make it that much paler. So we'll do that. And try and get it so that it's a very minimal coverage on creases and on raised areas. is about all we really need to do for this stage of highlighting it's not a great amount that we're using it's quite simply just to pick out certain areas Um, you know, we've not finished applying this colour yet. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that um, this is all it's being used for. Just very limited areas. Just keep applying this here and uh, where we know it's needed. Um, one sec, just exactly where you'll be able to notice yourself. Um, it's not a definite science as to where this is applied. It's just personal preference for the most part. But you will see that there will be those areas that will jump out at you that will need You're going over with this particular uh, colour. We are coming back to apply one further highlight. <coughs> and that will just be a very pale, almost white colour. I don't like usually highlighting up to white. But in this case, I want to try and look as pale a colour as I can make it. Um, I don't want it. Um, I want it. I want it to look white. 
and the only way I can do that is by going up to almost white. I don't have a white paint, some strange reason that's you know, the pot of skull white that I have seems to have done a disappearing act. I don't know where it's gone. Um, but we'll make do with what we have. There we go. Oh, one thing I do want to do before going any further. Um, I'm going to take a fine detail brush wet it, get some of that colour on the brush, oops, and then go over the eyes with this colour. Next, what we want to do, uh, taking some of the Screaming Skull. Oops. Screaming Skull. And, that, and into that, we'll take a little bit of that, and into that we'll put some of the Flesh Tone. Keep applying the flesh tone until we get it to the colour we want it. There we are, that will do. For some strange reason my brush here is as hard as can be. I did clean it out, but Needs a bit of a rinse. There we go. There we go. That will do. And into this, we will go with our fine detail brush and onto the highlights on the skin. But you're surprised to find that we are mixing a highlight with the skin tone for the skin. <laughs> there we go. And we'll just touch up the very high points once more. You can see I'm using little stippling motions for this because it gives it that well, I'm hoping it gives it that much more natural feel. And we'll just keep running with this in the hope that we get everywhere. Because you know what I'm like. I have a tendency of missing bits. And up 
not doing every single tool, I'm doing a few and that will do the job. that's that done next going into what color shall we use yeah abaddon black i'll go into that get a little bit on the palette uh, rinse the brush out give it a bit of a shake and We'll use that for the her. Yeah, I know you, I, I normally see Athena with like blonde coloured hair, but I'm going black. Because I want to. There we go. And we'll just keep filling in until we get every word that is her covered. As you can see, it's not a thick paint, it's uh, very diluted, going on quite like a wash. So it's going to build up in the shadow areas. Um, doing it this way because it's going to be quite easy to highlight this colour um, once we've actually finished painting it. There is Athena. Okay, so that's the herd on. I need to do before I go any further is because I caught a little bit of her. Um, with the black, just go in with some of the pale colour that we used to hide that mistake or little accident. going to give the skin area another wash when I've finished 
highlight them because I think it needs one. But for now, I'm going to leave it to dry and we're going to go back into, or with our slightly bigger brush, and um, we're going to go into when I can find it. I don't want that one, definitely. Oh, we'll do that one first. Keely, a green shade, bit of a shake. And this is going to be for the snakes in Medusa's hair. I'm being careful that we get just the snakes and not the shield as well. And the also get the uh, little ridges and things on Medusa's head because that will be the uh, tail of a snake, quite often portrayed as having rattlesnake heads or rattlesnakes for her and having a rattlesnake tail herself. So that is, as I say, I'm assuming that's what those little ridges are here, that little rattlesnake tails. And I'll just keep going with this Keely green shade until all the snakes are painted. And we'll give it then a little bit of time to dry before we come in with the next wash, which will go over skin. And I don't want it to be um, a skin tone that look, makes it look alive or as though blood's rushing through her veins. Um, I want to even even when I was doing the mini for Medusa, I didn't want that kind of look anyway. Uh, that, yeah, I did, definitely did not want that kind of appearance for her. Um, so I just certainly don't want it now that she's, or now that her head is attached, I was removed from the body and attached to Athena's shield. So I'm going to go with a much different colour. <coughs> Uh, but before we do that, let's get into this reddish colour that we have here. This might be the corn red, is it? I don't I can't remember. And we're just going to do a little bit on the shield, uh, on, the, on the shield, on the spear. We're not going fully over the spear. We're just going to go... that leaving just do the middle area of this uh, part and leave it to be dark towards the uh, ends <coughs> that will do for that next <coughs> going back in to the washes and okay with a green shade Drakenhof nightshade that's the colour I want now. Pick this brush up again and we'll touch up on the underside of the owl. Now 
can still see a little bit of the highlight coming through it but not too much I don't want it to be a, a very big a very saturated wash I just want it to be a very light wash and there we are uh, that's that bit done next um, back into the screaming skull if I can use this from here wipe a bit off the brush and we'll just give it a bit of a dry brush on this area of the spear there we are next using um, pallid witch flesh again I'll go back into that pop a bit more onto the pallet in a different area and we'll pick out now some of the extreme highlights where they need to be I think I may need to go over with another wash here as well but for some strange reason I've managed it on some of the small models I can't manage it on this one and I don't know why it's not going how I wanted it to go but Never mind. One we go. that bit so as I say we're going to go over um, reducers head now that that bit's done um, when I can find the oh there it is it's up straight away null noil give her a very grey looking skin tone with this Do not want um, what you call it's a very, very realistic skin tone. There we go. That will do fine. I'll do these areas as well down here. I think that's just like a rope or something that's attached to. Next, um, using a little bit, and I mean a very tiny bit. No, I can't do that yet, so I'll not do. Uh, Avalanche Sunset is what we'll use now. Again, we're just using a very small amount of this.
Harry's eyes will be done in this colour as will the owl's talons and also the owl's eyes as well and then now we've done that bit we'll do the feathers along her along the crest of her helmet Once this dries, we'll have a highlight with a much paler yellow. There we go. Now, as I said, I want to do a wash on the um, what you call it, the skin tone and the clothing. So back to the um, Agrax Earthshade, not Agrax Earthshade, the um, Drakenhof Nightshade. And that into that a spot of water. I want it really, 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 really pale wash. I want to do glaze rather than a wash. And we'll just go over of the um what should we call it on these um robes shall we say that she's wearing not robes I don't know what you'd call it hopefully this will give the finish that I require and tie all the um all the ways we've added together And that is that for the clothing. And now we want to do near enough exactly the same thing for the skin, but obviously I have to wait for a little moment for that bit. Uh, the skin on the juicer looks dry now, so we're going to use a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet. <coughs> very narrow brush and we'll just paint the eyes
Isn't that cool? There we go. And I'm just adding, mixing a little bit of the red into the skin tone that we've used. And we'll go over Athena's lips with that. And now given the previous wash a little bit of time to dry, uh, we need to go into the Reichland Flesh Shade once more. And exactly the same as we did with the Druckenhoff Nightshade I want to get a little, bit, a little bit of this on the palette and then mix with water to thin it down quite a bit and then We will apply it over all the skin tone areas. And if our fingers cross it's watered down enough that it that it has a glaze rather than a wash. I don't want it tinting too much. Um, I don't normally do this, but um, this many it's needed. There's not a great deal of detail in some of these areas. <coughs> there is a lot of detail, but painting it's some, quite a bit of it's quite flat um, <clears throat> so that's that bit done next there's not much more to do on this using a little bit of doomball brown <coughs> um, straight out of the pocket there's not a great deal as I say to do sandals with this I don't want to go for complete white with a mini like this I think it's a nauseous oh god um, but you know, there's only so much white you can do on a minute before it starts looking silly. In my opinion, anyway. <laughs> I'm not a great fan of painting in white, to be honest. And uh, I didn't want to use, certainly didn't want to use white sand, give up white sandals. I think that would look silly. So I'm just using a little bit of, as I say, Doomball Brown just to go over the areas on the feet of the ant um, skin. I 
and with the brush being a little bit damp anyway it's going to act quite like a wash there we go um, <coughs> now another area that I need to touch up on is the bottom of the um, <coughs> leg guard uh, there's not much of it to do but I'm going to do it in this silver colour because it will be um, an area that is raised I'm going to just touch up a few areas at the top here just to highlight a little bit more and I think we're almost done for Athena I'll come back and just go around the edge of the sword, uh, sword, shield again just with the <coughs> just more silver that will do nicely uh, and now just a little bit of this red on the strap there and a little bit more running down the spear And that will conclude. Oh, it won't. Just one little thing I want to do before we finish, and that is to highlight the crest along her helmet. And with that, we're going to use Flash Gitch Yellow, a little bit of a dry brush. just go from the top to the bottom stand out that much more okay there we are well I've got the flash get yellow out so I'm going to do another small part <coughs> and I'm just using a very fine brush as though she has uh, divine energy I'm just going to ruin the face. Let's try so we can salvage something with this. There we 
there as that bit there and then going back into the pallid witch flesh just a touch oops and that hopefully will do I've flooded the eye area so that when it dries hopefully it will dry to look as though it's glowing rather than anything else eyes are not my strong point as people know but there we are that is Athena hope you've enjoyed the video uh, next time when we come back we will be doing um, Hades uh, Athena had two votes for painting Hades had one the others haven't been voted on yet so I say we have Athena done next as I say Hades And then Ares and Zeus are still available to vote on. But for now, that's all the time we have. So until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.